Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Experience Tutor. Today we will discuss Class 12 Physics Electromagnetic Induction, Chapter 6, NCERT Solution, Part 1. Before we begin, we request you to subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel among your friends and relatives. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us. Let us begin today's class. So the first question is 6.1. Predict the direction of induced current in the situation described by the following figures 16.18A to F. So let us see the cases one by one. So case A, first one is case A. So we have to find the direction of the induced EMF or in induced current. So, we know that the direction of the induced current is closed up. In a closed up loop is given by Lenz law. The given pairs of figure shows the direction of the induced current when the north pole of a bar magnet is moved towards or away from a closed loop respectively. Using Lenz law, the direction of the induced current in the given situations can be predicted as follows. So first figure if, uh, we have seen, so the direction of the induced current is along QRPQ. QRPQ. For the next figure B, Let us see the solution. So, for B, the direction of the induced current is along PRQP. Is along PRQP. Let us see C, the problem number C. So, for problem C, The solution is the direction of the induced current is along yz xy yz xy let us see problem number d the solution to the problem number d is The direction of the induced current along ZY XZ is ZY XZ. Let us see problem number E. The solution to problem number E is the direction of the induced current is along X. R Y X X R Y X Let us see problem number F So the problem number F is this one and the solution to the problem number F is No current is induced since the field lines are lying in the plane of the closed loop. So let us move to the next problem. 
so the next question is 6.2 using lens law to determine the direction of the induced current in the situation described by figure 6.19 a a wire irregular shape or a wire of irregular shape turning into a circular shape b circular loop being deformed into a narrow straight wire so let us see the solution so step one of the solution is write the summary of the given values of physical quantities in the question so length of the rod which is l is equal to 1 meter angular frequency omega 400 meter per second magnetic field strength b is equal to 0.5 tesla step 2 is average linear velocity calculation so how we will calculate average linear velocity so one end of the rod has zero linear velocity while the other end has a linear velocity of lw so average linear velocity of the rod b is equal to lw plus zero upon two which is lw so uh, this is the average linear velocity of the rod now comes the step three emf developed between the center and the ring so this is the um, main statement that some emf is developed between the center and mean so emf developed between the center and the ring so e is equal to b l v b multiplied by l multiplied by b so b l instead of v we can write l w upon 2 just now we have found, uh, found the value of uh, v and on, upon multiplying and simplification we got b l square omega upon 2 putting the values of b putting the value of b l and omega we get 0.5 multiplied by 1 square multiplied by 400 upon 2 upon solving we get 100 volt hence the emf developed between the center and the ring is 100 volt let us see the next question now let us see problem number 6.3 along a long selenite with 15 turns per centimeter this value is given has a small loop area which is 0.2 centimeter square placed inside the selenite normal to its axis if the current carried by the solenoid changes steadily from 2 ampere to 4 ampere in 1 in 0.1 second what is the induced emf induced emf in the loop while current is changing so we have to find the induced emf let us see the solution so first step is write the values which are known to us from the problem so number of turns on the solenoid is 15 turn per centimeter we have converted into meter that is 1500 turns per meter so number of turns per unit length is 1500 turns solenoid has a small loop area that is a is equal to 2 centimeter square which is equal to we have converted into SI unit that is uh, 2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 meter square 
current carried by the solenoid changes from from 2 ampere to 4 ampere so current changes by 2 ampere to 4 ampere second step is find the induced emf so we will find the value of induced emf for that we know that change in current in the solenoid is 4 minus 2 which is given as 2 ampere so change in time dt is equal to 0.1 second induced emf in the solenoid is given by faraday's law that is e is equal to d5 by dt which is equation number 1 whereas phi is the induced flux through a small loop which is equal to b multiplied by a where b is the magnetic field whose value is mu mu naught n i this is equation number 3 this was equation number 2 so mu naught is equal to permittivity of free space whose value is 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 uh, h per m hence equation 1 is reduced to e is equal to d b a by dt putting the value of b as and then we get the equation as a mu naught n multiply by di by dt putting all these values here so uh, we get the value of the induced emf so we can write the answer as hence the induced voltage or emf in the loop is 7.54 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 volt let us see the next problem the next problem is 6.4 a rectangular wire loop of side 8 centimeter and 2 centimeter with a small cut in the moving out of the region of the uni uniform magnetic field of magnitude 0.3 t directed normal to the loop what is the emf developed across the cut if the velocity of the loop, loop is 1 cm per second the direction in the direction normal to the a longer side b shorter side of the loop for how long does the induced emf last in each case let us see the solution so the step one is to write down the values from the questions which are known to us and which are given in the problem so length of the rectangular wire l is given as 8 centimeter so 0 0.08 meter we have converted into meter width of the rectangular wire b is 2 centimeter that is 0 0.02 meter hence the area of the rectangular loop which is a is equal to l into b that is 0 0.08 multiplied by 0 0.02 which is equal to 16 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 meter square magnetic field strength b is equal to 0.3 t velocity of the loop that is v is equal to 1 centimeter per second which is equal to 0 0.01 meter per second so these all values were given now uh, the step 2 is find the value of induced emf so emf uh, developed in loop is given as e is equal to b l into v which is equal to putting the value of b l and v 
0.3.08.01 upon solving we get 2.4 multiply by 10 to the power minus 4 volt so time taken to travel along the width t is equal to distance traveled upon velocity that is b upon v so putting the value of b and v we, uh, we get 0 0.02 upon 0 0.01 which is equal to 2 seconds hence the induced voltage is 2.4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 volt which lasts for 2 seconds now let us see part b emf developed e is equal to b b and v capital b small b into v so putting the value of uh, capital b small b small b is the breadth and v is the velocity so 0.3 multiply by 0 0.02 multiply by 0 0.01 upon solving we get 0.6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 volt now time taken to travel along the length which is equal to t is equal to distance traveled upon velocity that is l upon v putting the value of l that is 0 0.08 and v that is 0 0.001 it gives 8 seconds hence the induced voltage is 0 0.6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 v which lasts for 8 seconds so this is the this was the solution now let us see the next problem We'll cover up the next problem in the next session. This is the end of today's session. Therefore, before closing the session, we request you to subscribe, like, and share our YouTube channel among your friends and relatives. Click, please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us. Thank you for your support and watching our YouTube videos. Thank you very much.